Well, hello, my friends. And today we're looking at Jeremiah chapters 26 to 28. And in chapter 26, we find that Jeremiah's life is threatened again uh, because of the message that he's preaching and the prophecy that he's prophesying against Judah. And the interesting part about in chapter 26, that there is another prophet named Uriah that it mentions that had the same message to Judah. But uh, the, the results, or shall I say, the aftermath of the prophecy was different between Jeremiah and Uriah. Both of them were threatened, but Uriah uh, fled uh, out of the country and the king sent for him and had him killed. And Jeremiah's life was spared. And that's something that is very difficult sometimes to understand how two good men uh, prophesying the same message, uh, one would be spared and one killed. Uh, there's many times we just don't understand why God allows certain things to certain people. Uh, we look over in the book of uh, Acts in chapter number 12, and we find that James, the brother of John, is killed. Doesn't say uh, why, it doesn't say, give any details, it just speaks that he's killed and the first disciple that was martyred. And so there's a lot of times we have questions in our life. Uh, we feel like at times that just because we're serving the Lord that we're going to be spared persecution and that is not the case. Uh, uh, God sees the big picture though. I remember James Dobson years ago wrote a book that says when God doesn't make sense and there's times that we just can't figure God out but we still trust him. You know, there was one time uh, some of uh, Jesus' the disciples met. You can read it in the book of John. Uh, they left, left him. And Jesus looked at Peter and said, you also gonna go away? And Peter said, uh, Lord, to who else can we go? For only you have the words of eternal life. And that's the case, my friends. Even though we don't understand why God allows some to be persecuted more than others or some to be even put to death and and why others seems like that, you know, things are going better for them. We still trust in God and believe in him. Uh, and so I encourage it. Let's not get our eyes on the whys and, and, and trying to figure things out, but let's trust in God no matter what. It'll all come out good in the end. Well, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.